really have to test your block out the noise mentality? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of good things being said about us right now, but, you know, good or bad, like we always say, we definitely have to block out the noise and just focus on us. And uh, this week, we just focus on things we need to do to get better. And uh, that's, that's our main focus. How tough is it to focus when it, the game is still a week away? I mean, you probably want to play yeah. Saturday, I would think. Yeah, it it's it get, it could get a little tough, but uh, I think our coaches do a great job of um, you know not you know putting the emphasis on and this week on us and not really focusing on the, on the opponent yet and just getting better, not doing too much game planning so we won't get bored of doing the same stuff. So they just do a good job of keeping it fresh every day. As, a, as an offensive line, I guess what are some of the things you guys are focused on this week fundamentally? Uh, getting our hands inside and pass protection. Uh, continue to to um, hone in on the run game, getting more physical at the point of attack, and uh, really. The, but the main thing is this protection, and we because we know how important that's going to be going uh, going forward. Jordan, you said a lot of people were saying how to get them what about you. Coach O is obviously not immune to that. Yeah. Is it crazy to think that when you took over this program that there were people that were totally against it? Yeah, it is. You know, looking back on it, but you know, we are in. In this program, we always knew uh, days like this would come. We always believed in ourselves, believed in Coach O, and you know the outside noise really didn't matter because you know at the end of the day, the only the only people who you know um, it predicts you know is predicts the outcome of the game is the only the only excuse me the only people who matter is us. So outside noise doesn't really matter. The offensive line really. The Dolphins of line really struggled against Alabama last year. You used that for motivation against Florida. Is that a, is there yeah. anything similar going on this week? Yeah, definitely. definitely. Uh, I'll be thinking this weekend about something. You know, obviously we didn't play good, and that should be motivation enough. Uh, I feel like we have a uh, a great a great group of motivated guys, so you don't really have to do much and do too much talking about this matchup. So uh, we know we have to go out and do it, and it's going to start with us, and we got to do our job. Yeah. Yes, I, I think so, you know, but it, it all starts with the O line and we know Clyde's gonna do his job every game, every day. And if we if we do our job and give him the push and give open up holes for him and give Joe time, the offense could be, you know, even even more special than it is. And we just gotta keep that going, uh, next week going into a hostile environment. How frustrated and angry and whatever last year. Losing Alabama's one thing, getting mm -hmm. shut out on your home field. I mean how how frustrated were you guys after uh, uh, anytime you lose, it's going to be a frustrating, frustrating thing. But uh, and obviously, uh, it was very frustrating. We didn't play up to our standards, and we we know we can't do that this year. And uh, we that's definitely going to be a, a little chip on our shoulder. But you know, at the end of the day, we just got to go out and play the game, just like every approach the game, like we've approached every game this season so far, and play to the LSU standard of performance, which is is pretty high. You guys seem to play well with a chip on your shoulder. Is mm -hmm. that Something you got you got to take a lot of pride in. I mean, that oh yeah, taking I, on the world, maybe. Yeah, I feel like anything, not just football, uh, the way you attack life, the way you you know approach school work, you got to have a chip on your shoulder. Just and you got to be you know intrinsically intrinsically motivated, and you just got to you know, approach everything with that with that mindset and have tenacity about everything. Did you take last year's game personally at all? I know Quinn Williams had kind of a breakout game against you guys. Uh. Not really personal. You know, I, I know I didn't play good, and I, I know you know people people were probably saying things about you know negative things, but you know I understood that, and because you know we we all didn't play play well, and I, I know that, and I learned from it this year. Lloyd, what's your I guess opinion on the bye week and having two weeks to prepare, or with the streak you guys are on, you'd rather play this? Uh, it's good. I think the bye week is good for to get guys healthier, but um. I kind of feel like you know it, it would it would be good for you know just keep keep rolling keep that rhythm going, but you know um, it's a good thing, but you know, it's got it's got to live with it. Can what's the play change for you as an offensive lineman, especially you guys have been emphasizing the run as kind of the play has progressed? Just how different is that compared to the early high tempo pace you guys have been? Uh, not too much different. Uh, not too much different. We still come in with the same mindset of trying to set the tempo and the run game early. And that's that's what we tried to do early on in the season. It just wasn't wasn't clicking, 
And now that things are coming together, it's opening other things up. But uh, we just got to keep keep getting better and just keep uh, being more, you know, trying to be a dynamic offense. You knew all the stats from the Florida game last year. Do you know the Alabama stats from last year? Yeah, I th uh, someone told me today, I think, I know we gave up like five sacks, uh, maybe five tackles for loss. I know for sure five sacks, but that's all I know. So you're going to play up but, something on the locker room? Yeah, we'll see. Uh, <laughs> it worked last year? Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I know I know the guys will be up for this game, you know, not don't, don't really even need to do much talking about this game. You know, uh, we know what's, what's at stake you know, from here on out. You know, uh, even after this game, we know what's going to be at stake. Uh, going into late November, so uh, we just got to step up. Thanks, Lord. Thanks, Lord. Good luck on the test. Thank you. <laughs>